everybody, I'm Trish from Fold Factory, and this is your 60 Second Super Cool Fold of the Week. Thanks for watching. This week's Super Cool Fold is the eternally flexible and production efficient closed gate fold, but I'm going to show it to you four different ways because I want to prove to everybody just how many ways that you can kind of change the character uh, and leverage this really efficient, easy to produce format. Um, it's great for direct mail. It's also machinable as far as folding goes. Um, just a great format. So this is a um, six by ten and a half uh, fold itself mailer. This is for Rothy's and um, mailing panel back here. And they're using this in the vertical format. And this is just a classic closed gate. So um, just a little touch of terminology here. A gate has two panels that fold in like this. A closed gate has an additional fold to close it down. That's why we're calling it a closed gate. This is using a, just a classic upright format on the layout. So now I want to take it to Kiwi Co., which is a subscription box uh, crafts and projects for kids. And so they're using the exact same size, but they're using it in horizontal format. So here's the mailing panel. But I want to show you how they've just taken the whole thing and gone in this horizontal format for the cover and layouts on the first spread, the first view. And then they've got this really nice vertical um, layout where they've got the different ages of the kids and the appropriate crafts. So it's just very organized. You get this extra panel too versus a trifold that would just have three panels. And the benefit of a closed gate is also two views. So you open it up, you get a single view, and then you get a second view on the inside. So you have a lot of flexibility there. So that's same size, uh, two angles of orientation. Now I want you to see this Joss and Main mailer. Here's the mailing panel. This one is in a landscape format. Same folding style, just completely different. Fold is here, not here, so we're now using it this way and opening it this way. Uh, still a really nice experience, long layout, first view here, second view here, exact same folding style, different configuration for the fold. Um, lead edge here goes through the mail. And then I just wanted to show you this Lego catalog because I thought this was awesome too. Um, they not only have this nice little six page fold out cover, um, they also tipped in a closed gatefold. So they've got a little short um, you know, page here that has glue on it and they glued this really nice feature you know, on this very special uh, you know, featured Lego project. Um, and so this just stands out. It's right here and you open it up and it's got this really nice spread here. And then you've got the rest of the catalog as well. So I love this idea of creating a focal point of a tipped in folded piece um, and especially something as efficient and practical as the closed gate. So I hope you like it. That's your 60 second super cool fold of the week. Um, closed gate fold four ways. Forward this to your friends and colleagues. Keep the dialogue going. Viewers, please send me your folds. If I use them, I'll send you free stuff. Visit foldfactor.com for folded samples, dialogues, and print. And remember, think finishing at the beginning. I'll see you next week. Bye.